Congress voted early Saturday to strip hundreds of millions of dollars from the United Nations agency that distributes most of the food, medicine and basic services to Palestinians in Gaza and across the Middle East, marking what critics say as a devastating blow to a region in crisis. The United States, along with several other countries, suspended funding for the UN Relief and Works Agency UNRWA, in January after Israel alleged that 12 of the agency's 13,000 Gaza employees participated in Hamas's cross-border attack on October 7. These new restrictions, advanced by Republicans as part of an $1.2 trillion government spending package, extends the funding moratorium for at least a year. UNRWA has become a de facto subsidiary of Hamas, Representative Mario Diaz-Ballard, R. Florida, said in a speech from the House floor Friday, echoing claims by the Israeli government, which has long criticized the agency. The passage of this bill means not one additional dollar from American taxpayers will go fund this deeply flawed organization, U. N. officials vehemently deny such assertions, and Israel has not publicly disclosed evidence to support its allegations about UNRWA workers' involvement in the attack or its claims that the group has been infiltrated. The UN Secretary General launched an independent investigation and intends to publish findings next month. Nevertheless, the consequences of the allegations have been sweeping. UNRWA, established in 1949 to provide assistance to Palestinians who either fled or were expelled from their homes during the creation of the State of Israel, now administers the bulk of government-like services, including schools, health care, food and housing assistance, to millions of those refugees and their descendants spread across Gaza, the West Bank, Lebanon, Jordan and Syria. Follow election 2024 The European Commission, Canada, Australia and Sweden this month unfroze their contributions to UNRWA. But US contributions, which last year totaled $422 million, typically account for about 30% of UNRWA's budget, the organization says. Slashing those resources now, with more than a million Gazans on the brink of famine, could be catastrophic, officials say. More than 32,000 have been killed during nearly six months of Israeli bombardment, according to local health officials. It's the equivalent of the government closing up shop here, said Bill Deere, director of UNRWA's Washington office. I don't know what's going to happen. But I can tell you it can't possibly be good for regional stability when you remove the last vestiges of hope for millions of people. Some Democrats who voted against the spending bill cited the UNRWA cuts as among their key concerns. Others, who said they voted for the bill because it contained critical funding for the U.S. government, also voiced concerns about the potential impact it could have in Gaza. Senator Chris Van Hollen, DMD.